Welcome, dear cosmic spirit, to our cosmic duckling soul family. You just arrived in a space where tarot, astrology, oracle cards and a lot more will unite. While creating this union of cards, we will embark on a journey of reflection, unknown secrets, past, present and future challenges and chances as well as limitless exploration of spirits by being open and receptive for what messages and insights may come. Dear soul, please remember that I am just a channeler, messenger or you can say transporter of any information which I receive from spirits through the revealing cards. It is totally okay if some information do not resonate with you. You can put that aside. Maybe this time it is meant for the other souls. And if you feel any resonation, that can mean that maybe your spirits are calling you to take action. Only you can feel and reflect what your resonation could mean in a more detailed sense. So now let us take a deeper look into the divine treasure trove and see what the spirits have in store for us. Hello my duckling peeps, it's August, it's summer, it's full moon and we have a new reading. For me the great picture is all about learning something. What we do learn, let's see together. When looking at the past card, which is this time Virgo, we probably learned anything and everything about cleansing in all directions. The cleansing of our home, our inner selves, our outer world and so on. Because even our Virgo is ruled by Mercury and its Greek god Hermes, the god of traitors, thieves and travelers, which we also know as the divine trickster. And just like him, our zodiac sign Virgo is also in the need of structure. This time with our Virgo, many of us may be learned to cleanse in all directions by simultaneously building structures but without searching for any faults in others and ourselves. Because Virgos are highly allergic to blunders and for that they tend to spread their sometimes untamable monkey mind into the outer world. This can make all parties involved sometimes more, sometimes less, a bit dizzy. <laughs> Meaning that with the appearance of Virgo, for our past reading, we learned to, but somehow also had to learn to cultivate our relationships while focusing and enjoying on how fitting puzzle pieces find each other in the beautiful garden of our planted seeds. And this was and still is today important when looking at the present card, which is the seventh house. The seventh house literally continues to tell the story of relationships which we started with our Virgo. This means we can literally now take a deeper look at our blooming garden. Our planted seeds are now mirroring how we nourish our relationships in a most healthy way. Because if we were once neglecting them, we can see that on the wilting flowers, which leaves us in loneliness and emptiness. 
But if we were and stay careful and mindful, we hopefully will see our garden beautifully blossom in all colors you can and can't imagine. Everything what was said and done until now fits perfectly when taking a glance at the card which appears for the future, which is the 11th house. You can literally say that this card is somehow a higher level of the other relationship focused cards, a master card, so to say. Now it is not only about one-to-one -one relationships and communication. Now it's all about practicing our knowledge of being a master in whole social connections with any kinds of people, including to juggle and interact gently and honestly with, uh, with all the individual dynamics, energies, attributes, emotions, skills, opinions, options, spirits, etc. But without overwhelming, restricting or criticizing others, just because they maybe aren't that way we have pictured in the first place. And that picture-making thingy is also a point we had, have and will have to remind us about all the time so that we don't destroy anything and smash it to the ground. The balancing and maintaining of healthy relationships according to these cards are thus our constant companions. The Starseed card completes the big picture in a way we probably didn't expect in the first place, didn't we? Didn't we expect that the learning process is going to be a never-ending thing? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but it isn't, oh. <laughs> uh, because Spirit is saying that even if we are in a position of a student, or kind of a student, we also have the great, great opportunity to just surrender into the divine source, to just trust in the mystery and even in the darkness, which accompany us anyway. And Spirit is also reminding us that we cannot always control everything, because things often happen out of human senses. So there is no other way but to trust in the cosmic matrix. The beautiful, beautiful thing of these full moon readings is that we have some gorgeous spirit animal bonus cards, which act like confirmation cards, if you will. I cannot say it any differently. The spirit animal cards always blow me away really always, without any exceptions. This time the skunk spirit is our little visitor and the skunk carries a beautiful symbolism of values, confidence, self-love and good luck. That's an incredibly important addition for this particular reading as we talk a lot about relationships, communities and the role which we play in them. But what is also important is us the relationship we have with ourselves. So the skunk card reminds us to show our most authentic side, to be just the way we are. We should never be ashamed of our nature, rather be proud of it and work with the gifts and skills we have. Sometimes, especially in relationships and communities, we are often shy and tend to hold ourselves back when we realize that other opinions which differ from ours take the lead. But that is nothing that will result in a healthy relationship with ourselves. When we have the inner urge to speak our mind, we should do that. Yes, sometimes we will face oppositions when we dare to do that, but in most cases we will be surprised as other souls suddenly agree, speak their mind as well and stand with us. Ever had the situation as a child sitting in class, be desperate as you don't understand the topic and then suddenly your classmate raises his or her hand and asks the, the exact same question which was bouncing in your head for the last minutes? 
weren't you incredibly thankful that moment and relieved to know that you were not alone? That's what happens when we speak our minds despite of the fact that we think we are seemingly, emphasis on seemingly alone. Very well fitting to the skunk's nature and very well fitting to the self-love and relationship balancing aspect, Spirit tells us that we should never apologize for our most real self, for just being. We should never. And then we have our little shamanic card confirming all that and completing the whole picture, just acting as the very last puzzle piece. This time it's the squirrel having a message for us. And this message is all about abundance and playfulness. Yes, there was and is and will be a lot to plan, a lot to balance, a lot of structure in our lives, but we should never forget our inner child, our soul, which loves to play. And sometimes we should, we should just trust in our incredible strength, which we hold, so that we have a quiet mind, which allows us to step out of that structured zone and make ourselves comfortable. So, big reminder to all of us, don't just balance our relationships and all the other stuff. Also, let us try to balance both work and play. Very important message. Because if we sew ourselves into the web of structures, we lose the ability to be flexible and adapt to changing situations. And this is one of the most important things in life. Always having a creative solution for crazy unexpected situations. Okay, everyone, the spirits told me that with everything that is said and done now, we have completed today's full moon reading. Hopefully this reading helps some of you to navigate until the next time we meet again. Remember that it is totally okay if some information do not resonate with you. You can put that aside. Maybe this time it is meant for the other souls. And if you feel any resonation, that can mean that maybe your spirits are calling you to take action. Only you can feel and reflect what your resonation could mean in a more detailed sense. I am very curious about how the next full moon readings will evolve. On the basis of what the cards told us today, it will be very exciting to see how we will move forward to the next full moon readings. At this point, I would like to thank you for directing your trust at me, for listening to what the cards and the spirits let me feel and say, and of course, your time you have spent with me today. It means a lot and I'm very thankful to have the opportunity to share all that with you. I'm already curious about our next reading and do not forget, always trust in yourself, surrender into the divine and be as curious, funny and as brave as a duckling ready to take off. <laughs>